in this lecture we will discuss some questions based on nth term of ap nth term of ap is expressed as an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d sometimes a particular term or two terms will be given and they can ask find out the ap for the following so when two terms will be given they will form the two equations in two variables and those two variables will be a and d for example if the question is the third term of an ap is 5 and the seventh term is 9 then find out the ap to write any ap what do we require we require the first term and the common difference now on the basis of this we will set two equations a3 means third term and third term will be a plus 2d according to the nth term formula here it is a plus n minus 1 into d so naturally the third term will be a plus 2d so it is given third term is 5 and the seventh term so seventh term will be a plus 6d is equal to 9 now if we observe these two these two are two equations in two variables so simultaneously we can solve these two equations and since the first quantity that is a with the same signs so same sign same value if we will subtract the equations the one quantity will be cancelled it will give us the value of d when we will get the value of d we will substitute that value of d in any of this equation will give us the value of a so once you know a and d you can write ap so let's see now this is the first equation and this is the second equation on subtracting this second equation from the first one all the signs of these terms will be changed so this will be minus this will be minus a minus a will be cancelled 2d minus 6d will be minus 4d is equal to 5 minus 9 this sign will be considered that will be minus 4 so this will give us the value of d as 1 now this value of d we can substitute in any of the equations so suppose we have substituted it in the first equation a plus 2 into d and d is 1 that is equal to 5 so this will give us the value of a that is coming 3 so the first term is 3 and common difference is 1 so the ap will be 3 4 5 6 and so on so what we have seen if two terms are given we will write the formula according to nth term that will give us the value of d that we will substitute in any of the equations will give us the value of a and once you know a and d we can form an ap similarly we will see other questions also now we'll see one question in which they are asking that a particular number is given whether it will fall in a particular ap or not so for that we will assume suppose that particular number is nth term when we are assuming it as nth term it means what we have to find out n and the condition for n is n should not be a fractional or negative value so let's do one example for that the question is is 301 a member or a term of a given ap and ap is 5 7 or sorry 5 11 17 23 and so on we have to check whether this 301 will fall in this ap or not so our assumption will be suppose it falls then on the basis of that assumption we are saying suppose this 301 is nth term so that we will write let 301 be nth term of this given ap okay so in place of nth term means an we will write 301 we know a over here we know d also we will calculate it so what we will see n and that n should be a positive integer if it is coming as a negative value or if it is coming a fractional value it means that this number is is not a member of or not a term of this given ap so let's see what we have assumed according to that we will write nth term is 301 and the formula of nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d will be 301 
where a is 5 and d is 11 minus 5 that is 6. So substitute the value of a and d. a is 5 plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 3, 0, 1. So here it will be 5 plus 6n minus 6 is equal to 3, 0, 1. 5 minus 6 is minus 1. That minus 1 will go that side. So 3, 0, 1 plus 1 that is 3, 0, 2. 3, 0, 2. Now this n will be equal to 3, 0, 2 upon 6. Further, we will simplify it. It will be 1, 5, 1 upon 3. And 1, 5, 1 upon 3 is a fractional value. And number of term, n is number of term. It cannot be a fractional value. It means that 3, 0, 1 cannot be the member of this AP. Because n is not coming a positive integer or we can say n should be natural number. But here what we are observing, n is coming as a fractional value. So ultimately we will say n cannot be a fractional value or a fraction. So 301 is not any term of this AP. So here we have seen if suppose the AP is given and they are asking you any particular number whether it will fall in this AP or not. So for that the condition is we will assume let it be as an nth term and ultimately if n is coming a positive number then that particular term will be this given number otherwise not. So in this case 301 is not the member of this AP. Now we will discuss some specific questions in which they ask that how many digits are multiples of 3 or multiples of 7 which are 2 digit or 3 digit. When these type of questions will be asked, the very first thing we have to see which is the first member of this AP and which will be the last member. So suppose the question is find out how many numbers are 2 digit numbers which are divisible by 3. So first we will see the 2 digit number starts with 10. And it ends with 99. So it is not necessary that the first number which is 2 digit is divisible by 3. So first of all we have to see that which is the first member of this AP. So since the next number is 11 and the next to that is 12. So the first member of this AP will be 12. It means that the first number is or the first term is 12. Definitely they are divisible by 3 means what? Common difference will be 3 and 99 is the largest 2 digit number but here in this case it is divisible by 3. So the last term is 99. In this situation what is asked? How many numbers? How many numbers means what is asked? How many members are there? How many terms are there of this AP whose first term is 12, common difference is 3 and this we can take as nth term because what do we require? n and n how will we get with the formula of nth term. So we can say that this last term is the nth term. So this will give us the value of n. So here a n is 99 and in place of a n we will write a plus n minus 1 into d is 99 where a is equal to 12 and n we have to find out d is 3 is equal to 99. Now 12 plus 3 n minus 3 open the bracket is equal to 99. 12 minus 3 is 9. So 3n is equal to 99 minus 9 because this will be plus 9 over here and that will go this side. That will give us 90. So n is equal to 90 by 3 means 30. So how many terms are there or how many numbers are there from 12 to 99 which are divisible by 3? They are 
30. Similarly, suppose it is asked how many three digit numbers are there which are divisible by 7. So in that case, three digit number starts with 100 and they end up to, nine, they end with 999. But they should be divisible by 7. So what is the method? The very first thing you have to find out what is the first number which is three digit and divisible by seven. So how will we find this? The simple way is if it is a small number that I told you directly this was like in the previous case 12 but here if you don't know. So the method is you will divide the given number means three digit number with whichever number we want to find divisible with. So we have to find out the first three digit number which is divisible by 7. So we will divide this and then what it, it, will, it will give us 7 ones is 7, this is 3 and this is 0 so 4 is a 28. Now what is the remainder? 2. But if you will subtract this 2 from this 100 it will become 2 digit number. It means what we have to do? The next number we have to find out. So what is missing from this 2 so that it will be divisible by 7? 5 more because if this would have been 7 it would have gone by 7 uh, one time so what what is missing 5 number more are missing so what will we do we will add this 5 in this 100 so what is the first number which is 3 digit number and divisible by 7 that is 105 so first number we know similarly we will find out the last term also over here now three digit number is 999 and whether it is divisible by 7 or not that we have to check. So always remember for the first number we have to add and for the last number we will be subtracting because when we will subtract something from it, it will be three digit number only because it is divisible by, it will be divisible by 7. So now let's check. This is 7, 1s are 7, this is 2, this is 9, 4, 28, this is 1, this is 9, 2 times 14, how much is extra? 5 is extra. So that 5 we will subtract from this 999, that will give us 994, it means the last term is 994. So you know the first term, you know the last term which we will take as the nth term and a is given 105, D will be 7 and nth term will be 994 will give us the value of N. So like this in these type of questions, 2 digit number, 3 digit number when you have to find out, the very first thing is you have to find out the first term and the last term. On the basis of that, we can find out the value of N. We will discuss a specific case. We will find out a typical or a specific term from the end. Means till now what we were doing? We were finding out the 10th term, 11th term from the beginning. The AP was A, A plus D, A plus 2D and so on or a particular AP was given. But in this question we will see how to find out a specific term from the end. So let's say an AP is given like this and we have to find the 11th term from the last means from this side. We have to find out 11th term of this AP from this side. One way is find out how many terms are there. With the help of that also we can find out otherwise. If we start this AP from reverse order means if we take this as the first term. In that case. In, from starting when we are taking this, this is 10, 7, 4, it means it is a descending order. So here when you are starting the AP from left to right, the first term is 10 and D is 7 minus 10 means minus 3. But if you observe, if we start the AP from the back, its first term is minus 62, but what will be its D? Its D will be plus 3. That we have to remember whenever we take the AP from the back from the last in that case D will be negative of what we are taking from left to right. So here already D is negative so negative of negative will be positive. So we, here we can say the 11th term from the last 
in which a is equal to minus 62 and d is equal to 3. This is very important to remember that when you are taking a p from the back, d should be negative of that d what you are taking from left to right, means opposite of that. So here d will be 3. So minus 62 plus 11 minus 1 into 3 because this is the 11th term. So that will be minus 62 plus 10 into 3 that is minus 62 plus 30. So this is minus 32. This is a very special typical type of question because here we are starting the AP from right to left. So we have to be very careful. The first term will be the last term of the original AP and D will be negative of that D which is from left to right. We will discuss one question in which the relation of two terms is given. For example, if we say the 17th term of an AP is 7 more than its 10th term or it exceeds the 10th term by 7. It means here the relation is given of 17th term and 10th term. Then find out the common difference. So what is given? The 17th term of an AP exceeds means more than the 10th term by 7. So obviously when we will substitute the values here of 17th term and 10th term in the form of this nth term formula. So this side also A will fall, this side also A will fall, we are uh, assuming, let's suppose the first term is A. So 17th term will be A plus 16D and 10th term will be A plus 9D. So in this case, both the sides A is falling which will be cancelled. So ultimately what we have got, 16D and if we will bring this 9D this side, so 16 minus 9 will be 7. So 7D is equal to 7. It means the common difference is 1. So here I have discussed earlier the questions when two different terms were given. Then we had formed two equations but here only relation is given. So in that case they might ask other values also but in this case what we have substituted what we have done we have put the relation of this 17th term is 7 more than 10th term. So by this what we have got? The common difference what was asked. So like this what we have done? The questions based on nth term of an AP and different other type of questions also we have seen. So this is all about nth term of an AP.